Jay here. Today's beer review will be on What's up beer lovers? Uh, tonight's very special episode. I've been working on this one for a while. Um, we're going to do a tasting, a horizontal tasting of all the different minute IPAs from Dogfish Head. Uh, we're going to start with the 60 minute which is their classic. I think everybody in the world's had it. Absolutely wonderful beer. Um, and then we're going to go on to the 61. Now, it's debatable whether or not this should be included in the horizontal tasting. Now, it shares a very similar recipe to the 60 minute IPA, but it's not called a minute IPA. Uh, I debated back and forth with a couple of buddies of mine that also have beer uh, sites, and one said it should be included and one said it didn't. So the jury's out. I've decided to include it. Uh, feel free to, you know, talk about that all you want in the comments below. Whether or not it should be included or not, I decided to. Then we have the 75-minute IPA and the 90 and finally the 120. Now, I know you've already noticed it says chug me on the 120. And the story behind that is I live in Ohio. And the state of Ohio, for whatever reason, doesn't think people are responsible enough to handle a beer much above 12%. So they're not allowed to be sold here. Um, so I happen to have one, like I said, I've been planning this for a long time. And my buddy Dan, who runs a site called uh, Beer Gelden, I'll leave a link in the descriptions below, said that I should, he's a, obviously a fan of the budget beers, said I should chug it. And we kind of joked back and forth about it. Finally, I said, well, if you send me one, I'll do it. Well, thanks to my buddy Dan, chug me on it that's what we're gonna do um, so anyway uh, real quick the 60 has a 92 score it's 6% ABV the 70 61 has six and a half percent it's got a 81 score but it just recently came out so that score is gonna change a lot in the, in the near future uh, 75 minute has a uh, 93 score from beer I'd get it's 7.5 percent the 90 has a 95 score from Beer Advocate it's 9% and the 120 has a 90 score from Beer Advocate and it is 18% ABV. So anyway I'm gonna crack these open and pour them. Uh, I'm not gonna do it on camera I'll save the time so stand by and I'll be back. Alright I'm back I got everything all poured up uh, I got the 60 minute over here 61, 75, 90, 120. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and taste them, do a regular short review on each one of them, and I'm going to try to see if I can see how the style progresses from Dogfish Head, from IPA to IPA. Now the oddball in the mix here, of course, is going to be the 61, and I don't know how that's going to fit in with this, but we're going to find out. So anyway, first with the 60 minute, um, it's just a regular standard IPA. There's a little bit of hops. And a little bit of malt. It's a well-balanced IPA. I would expect that it's going to taste the same and in fact I know that because I've had this numerous times before and it's quite good. It's nice and smooth. Got a nice just enough of a bitter backbone to balance out the malt. Truly um, you could drink these all day long. They're wonderful. Um, nothing great about it but nothing terrible either. It's a well put together IPA. Now the one I'm kind of scared of, the 61. Now this is made with uh, Sharia grape must, and I may have pronounced that wrong, I'm sure I did, but I'm no expert on wines or grapes, so uh, pardon me for any infraction there. Um, let's give it a smell. There's a slight hint of a fruitiness to it, but it's very slight, and really I don't pick up a whole lot of hops or a whole lot of malt. It's really kind of neutral smelling. Um, see if it tastes the same way. There's a nice bittering from the hops in the background and then it finishes with a kind of fruity, grapey, um, not overly dry, almost a sweet um, grape kind of finish to it. It's incredibly smooth though. It's actually, I was afraid I was gonna hate this and it's actually not too bad. It 
It's definitely different. Um, try something. I don't know that I'd want more than one glass of this, but uh, to try something different, you might want to give it a shot. Kind of interesting. I'm surprised by that. Now, the 75 minute. Oh, you know what I haven't been doing? Sorry. Almost forgot. Let me try the 61 again on a clear palette. Yeah, same impersonations. Nice bittering for the backbone. Kind of almost, maybe a touch of sour to it that I didn't pick up on on the first time, but not like a soured beer or anything awful. Just a tanginess there. Um, now, anyway. The 75-minute IPA is brewed with uh, maple syrup. And I've never had this beer either. Um, this is one of the ones that took me a while to find to put this horizontal tasting together. I had it together for a while now, but I really was waiting on the 61 to come out. And uh, my buddy Dan from Beer Garden, he, uh, he hooked me up with that as well. Came out in his area before it came out in mine. But anyway, on to the 75. There's a little bit more of a hop note there. And... There, there's another smell there, and I got to assume it's the maple, but it doesn't really smell like maple. Maybe if you really try and think about maple, it smells like maple, but I don't know. I think that may be my head playing with me more than the actual smell. It is interesting, though. Let's see if it tastes good. There's a lot of burn from the alcohol for a 7.5% beer. It actually tastes like it's much stronger than that. But all in all, I'm not picking up on the maple flavor of it, but um, yeah, it's, it's different. I don't know that I am um, particularly one of my favorites. Um, sorry about the odd cut there. If you let the bittering linger with this beer and just kind of enjoy it, it, it doesn't go away quickly. Um, and you start to, in the very final, final notes of this beer, pick up a hint of maple flavor. Um, I'm still going to say I'm not wild about it. There again, I don't think I'd want more than a glass full. But it's interesting to try. Now... On to the 90 minute, another common one from uh, Dogfish Head. I've had it numerous times. Pardon me, let me clear my palate. It's just a straight up double IPA. Um, all these beers, I believe, are continually hopped. That's one of the things that um, I believe they sprinkle in a little bit constantly as, as it's going through its boil for the length of time that boil is. And the, I think the time of the boil is is set by the minute IPA. So anyway, 90 minute. Now this definitely smells like it's got some hops in it. It's got a nice um, hop resiny kind of smell to it with a multi backbone to it. Hmm. And there's the thing I don't care for about this beer. It's smooth. Um, you can pick up the alcohol in it. It is 9%, but it's thick. It's got a thick, big, fat mouthfeel. Um, and frankly, I don't care for that in a beer. It's why 90 Minute is not one of my favorite beers. Other than that, if they would make it a little waterier in the mouthfeel, dry it up a little bit, maybe choose a little different yeast, I'd probably really love this beer. But because it's so thick, it's almost like a meal in a glass. Um, I have a hard time with it, and I, I find, you know, I buy it once in a while, but I struggle to get through a glass, to be honest with you. Now, on to the big king daddy of them all. The 
the 120 minute IPA. Um, I've had this beer one time before uh, and I found it to be wonderful. Um, and how drastic of a difference between the 90 and you, I mean, you would think if you watch these get progressively thicker, stronger in alcohol burn, stronger in everything, when you get to this, I didn't find it there the first time I had it, but I wasn't reviewing it either. So, malt is the prevalent scent. Not so much on the hops. They're there, they're in the background, they're a back note to a big malty uh, beer. It almost kind of smells like a, like a Scottish uh, wee heavy or something, or, or a barley wine. It's got that real strong malt smell with a lot of alcohol coming up out of the glass as well. Out of a taste. There's some alcohol burn there, I'll tell you that. At 18%, I guess there's probably no getting away from it. There's no way to really hide uh, that kind of alcohol in a glass. But it's actually quite smooth. It's nicely balanced, believe it or not, between the bittering and the, and the malt. And that's got to be hard to do. I don't know what the IBUs on it are, but with an original gravity that this beer has to start with to get to this point, it's got to be huge on its IBUs to balance that out. And it does it quite well, and actually it's quite tasty. Ah, well, I'm a little nervous about this, to be honest with you. After tasting the, the burn of that 18% beer, um, well, I guess it's time to put my money where my mouth is. Dan, thanks for sending me the beer. I appreciate it. Bottoms up. Cheers to you, good sir. Man, is it chuggable? No. And trust me, I don't think you should try this at home. Oh, my goodness. I kind of hit you right here. Oh, originally I had planned to go Dan, to go a step up on Dan and actually power through all of these. Uh, give me a minute, I may try. But uh, oh, it was like chugging a bottle of whiskey. Uh, don't do that. And number one, it's a waste of a, of a craft beer to just swig it down like that. That's pointless. I mean, that bottle of beer costs like $9, so I really don't ever recommend that you do that. And two, it wasn't a very pleasant experience at all. Um, it's still burning. <laughs> that, was, that was actually one of the hardest things I've ever chugged, um, including some really bad beer. Uh, and for those with fan of the budget shows, you'll, you'll know that... Uh, I've had some bad ones. Some people say that when they're really bad, I get a vein that pops out. So, oh, well, Dan, I'm going to try to one up you on this, but uh, I'm going to choose my own order. We're not going backwards because if I'm going to get stuck, it's going to be on the 90 because, frankly, I don't like it. So, uh, here's the 60. Bottoms up. Yeah, the 60 minutes chuggable. I did have a good time with the horizontal tasting. And um, I probably should elaborate on that before I finish getting through these. Um, you could see how they progressed through the 60, 90, and 120. The 75 and 61, I'm not sure fit. Anyway, 61, I don't know if this is going to be chuggable at all. Uh, 
Oh. 61 is chuggable. And actually, pretty damn tasty that way, too. Um, that's a lot of beer. That 120 is still playing, playing rough. Oh. You know what? I almost want to call it here. I almost want to say, you know what? You can't do a horizontal chugging of minute IPAs. But then I look down and I got two glasses left, which is really two fifths. Still quite a bit. I'm just beyond halfway. It's not like I'm at the finish line yet. And they're going to get tougher. At 90 still sitting there. Well, 75, down you go. Ah. It may be chuggable, but not at this point. My belly tells me I'm full. You can call me a failure if you want. Have a good night.